if you need money, good money, then you'd probably need to go to a bank to borrow. Once you go there though, you will be asked for your identification documents, your financial history. They'll need to do a background check for you to ascertain if you can even be able to pay them back. They'll need to check your credit worthiness with the credit reference bureaus and you know your unpaid university help loan, right? Most bank loans will require some sort of security, title deed or a logbook. Even after all this, your loan may take between 48 hours and three months for you to get that money in your bank account. Completely frustrating, especially when you think of how much money you transact in your bank account for that particular bank. What if you could get a loan in less than two minutes? No approvals required, no regulations or red tape, and you didn't need to seek anyone's approval in order to get it. Enter crypto loans. In this video, I want to share with you what crypto loans are, how you can use your crypto holdings in order to get a crypto loan, why crypto loans are so awesome for hodlers, and much more. Let's get those credits rolling. So let's start with the most important question. What are crypto loans? A crypto loan is a type of secured loan in the crypto space that is similar to a logbook loan in which you pledge an asset to secure financing. This means that the fundamentals of a crypto loan are just as similar as the way it usually works with banks. But one of the key differences that there is is in how you can actually be able to get this money. When you are going to a bank to get a loan, these banks usually do what is known as a credit score check. This essentially means that they want to calculate the amount of risk that they're going to face when they are giving you this money. This can be in the form of default risk, which means that they are looking at whether you will pay them or not and the risk of giving you and then you never return their money back to them. Remember the way banks work is the money they get as deposits is what they actually lend out. This is dependent on how much money you make, which job you do. This is checked before they give you this money. But when it comes to a crypto loan, credit scores are totally unnecessary because credit is given using the crypto assets that you already own. That's where the lender, and in this case, Binance, is going to hold as collateral until you have paid back your loan. So for instance, on Binance, the minimum that you can borrow is 100 USD. And I'll show you later in this video how you can be able to borrow on the app. So if you want to borrow 100 USD, you'll probably need to have about 200 USD worth of crypto already on Binance. The second thing is in the way interest is calculated in the crypto space. In crypto, the crypto loans calculate and they collect interest every hour and then daily instead of monthly the way the banks actually do. And you can actually be able to take a crypto loan from seven days to about 180 days. Whereas with banks, the fastest is about six months on the minimum for normal personal or business loans. But with a crypto loan as a trader, you can be able to get this loan in about a minute and then you can pay it back in seven days or 180 days. You see, the main reason why crypto loans operate on a shorter time frame is because the underlying security, the crypto in this case, that you're actually giving out is more volatile than the traditional currency. In fact, 
that is the reason why you are getting this loan for about seven days. In the banks, the most similar thing to a crypto loan is a cash-backed loan. So why is a crypto loan attractive to investors? Why would someone take up a crypto loan instead of selling their crypto. One of the reasons why crypto loans are very attractive is because as a trader, I don't want to get rid of the crypto asset, which on the long haul is going to actually go up. I don't want to liquidate my asset now and then tomorrow it goes 10%, 20%, or even 100% for some of these particular cryptos, what I should actually do is take a loan which is not taxable because it is debt. Then I can actually be able to use that for my day-to-day -day and the underlying asset keeps on going up in value. Another reason why crypto loans are actually really good is you can actually be receiving interest on the assets. For instance, if you use Bitcoin as collateral and then you use to acquire a loan in BUSD or USDT, which is a stable coin, the collateral will most likely be worth more than the loan that you're taking over the long term. And then this BTC that you actually have at the moment will have gone up in value by the time you are repaying this this essentially leaves you as a borrower with a profit. Suppose when you go to a bank, even if you have fulfilled all the things that they have said on paper you need to fulfill, you are still not 100% sure that you will get this loan. The next thing is you don't want to get rid of an appreciating asset. By the way, this is the same reason why a bank would actually want a title deed as collateral because it usually tends to go up in value. And that's the reason why crypto loans are so essential in the system. So how can you borrow a crypto loan on the Binance platform? You know, when you want to take a loan from the bank, they'll require that you have spent with them about six months. The minimum is usually three months for personal loans, but they'll require you to actually have been with them for quite a while. But when you come on Binance, as long as you are a registered user, and secondly, you have the collateral, you will be able to take a loan on the platform. There is no time limit that has been placed for you to qualify to take a crypto loan. So on the screen, I'm actually showing you right now how you can be able to borrow this loan. If you haven't yet signed up on Binance, check the first link in the description below to sign up for your account. So the next thing that you need to know is that you can be able to borrow Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance Coin, USDT, and there is a full list of available crypto assets that you can use as collateral. I've placed a link to the document in the description as well. You can be able to borrow from 100 USDT or BUSD to about 10,000 BUSD. And that's very simple. So depending on the amount of time that you're going to take with the loan, the loan tenure, that will actually determine the interest rate that you will get for this particular loan. What we are going to do now is to go onto the app so that I can be able to take a crypto loan. Now on the phone, what I'll actually be able to do is go under home. On the home screen, you'll be able to see different Function. For everyone, this homepage looks a little different, but what I want you to do is click on more and then it will bring you the services. So there are recommended services, there's common function, gift and campaign, trade and finance. So what we'll actually do is just scroll down, gift and campaign, trade and and then you get to finance. So this is where we actually want to go. Remember, on your spot wallet, you already need to have enough money or enough crypto that is already there. So we will click on crypto loans and then it will now show us and it says borrow for spot margin of futures trading or staking to earn high APY. Currently loanable at this time, I'll just click on the 
arrow there so that we can be able to see the currently loanable coins. So you can borrow USDT, BUSD, USDC. These are stable coins. One inch, Algo, Alice, Atom, AXS, which is Axie Infinity, Ave, and there are so many other cryptos that you can actually be able to loan. So what we'll actually do here is I'll say, how much do I want to borrow? And you can be able to see the limit. So the minimum that I can be able to borrow is 100 BUSD. And for my profile, the maximum I can be able to borrow is 10,000 BUSD. So we'll try with 100 BUSD. And at this point, I'll just say, collateral amount so this is the crypto that will be held as collateral in order to borrow this so i'll say only show asset and then where there is a coin i'll just click on b and b and then i can now go and check which of the cryptos that i currently have on my spot wallet that i'll actually use as collateral in our case here in my case right now i'm using usdt but in your case it can be btc or ethereum or whatever it is in actual sense it would be better to use the bitcoin or ethereum as the collateral than trying to use usdt like i'm doing here but this is just for the tutorial so i'll click on usdt the next thing that you need to know about this is the amount of money that i am borrowing is going to be less than the amount of money or crypto that i'm using as collateral so the collateral that i'm using what i have in my spot wallet will be more than what i am borrowing you can see i was trying and i'm trying to borrow a hundred usd busd and i'm offering up a hundred and fifty three usdt as collateral what it will actually show is you can actually see initial ltv ltv stands for loan to value this is the initial is at 65 percent if i have a particular amount of crypto i can be able to borrow up to 65 percent as a crypto loan then the next thing is margin call if the collateral 75% is equal to the loan, then it will give you a notification known as a margin call. If then the value of your crypto actually goes down again until the loan is 83% of the collateral, you'll get what is known as liquidation LTV, which actually means that when you are using this, it will automatically close the loan, repay the loan, because it doesn't want to lose the loan that you had. So this is a self-secured facility that you're taking on the Binance app. So what we'll actually do from here is we'll now check on the loan term, which says the interest is calculated based on the actual borrowing hours and can be repaid in advance the interest is charged three times hourly after the expiration time positions that are overdue more than 72 hours will be automatically closed for repayment so here i'll just click on where it says seven days and there are options of 14 days 30 days 90 days and 180 days so with seven days your hourly interest rate will be 0.00125%. And if I'm borrowing 100 BUSD, I'll be required to pay back 100.21 in seven days. So you have 100 USDT, and when you've borrowed it for seven days, you're paying an equivalent of 0.21 BUSD. So let's look at 30 days, and then we'll look at 180 days as well so with 30 days the interest rate is still the same 0.00125 percent per hour and i'll be required to pay 0.9 busd in 30 days so look at that it's actually a very cheap way of borrowing because you borrow 100 usd and in a month you're required to return it with 0.9 usd meaning you borrow 100 
and in 30 days you're returning 101. Where else will you get at such a good price? So let's look at six months. If I borrowed for six months, 180 days, I'll get to pay 5.4 BUSD as the interest. So what we'll actually do now is I'll do seven days and with the seven days, all I'll just do now is click on start borrowing now. And then it brings me the order confirmation, which tells me the loan amount, which is 100 BUSD, the collateral amount, in this case, we used USDT, the loan term, seven days, hourly interest rate of 0.00125%, and then total interest amount, and the expiration time is in seven days. So what I'll just do is say, I have read and I agree. So click on confirm. So once I've done this, I get a notification that just says loan success. So what I'll actually do is at the top there, there was borrow. And then you can actually be able to see ongoing orders. So this is what you'll actually see. The total debt is 100.00125 because we've just borrowed this money and the collateral that we have placed is 153.7 USDT and the residual interest, the remaining principal and the expiration time. So the early interest is 0.00125%. The accrued interest period right now is one hour because we've just taken this right now. Then to liquidation price is 21.67 and then the order ID. So that is a simple way on how you can be able to borrow a crypto loan. So the next thing that we want to actually check is how can we be able to pay the crypto loan. So what we'll actually do is you'll go to your homepage and then where it says more, click on it and then go under finance, click on finance and then go to crypto loans. And here you'll be able to actually see how you can be able to repay this. So what you'll actually do is next to borrow, it shows ongoing orders and you can be able to see two tabs, one for adjusting the loan to value and the other one for repay. So we'll click on repay. So what we can actually do is you can repay either with the borrowed coin or you can repay with your collateral. So this shows you that this is an easy way of you liquidating your crypto assets without having to get a taxable event because you're actually paying off a loan and a loan is not taxable income. So what you'll actually see here is I can be able to pay 25% of the BUSD that I borrowed or I can pay 50% or I can borrow 75 or pay the whole amount or just click on max. So what we'll actually do here is I'll click on max and then the total debt is 100.00125. That is the interest. Your free asset is 100 BUSD. The, the interest repaid, the principal repaid and the total repayment. So the loan to value after repayment will be 0 0.02 and we'll have our returned collateral amount. So we'll click on confirm repayment and it says the 146 has actually been repaid. It's that simple to be able to repay a crypto loan. So I have just shown you how you can be able to borrow and repay a crypto loan. This is a very good way of you being able to preserve your collateral and the crypto assets that you have already bought. In the next video, I want to show you how you can be able to buy Solana on Binance. Watch that and I'll see you in the next one.